According to an article in NPR, the U.S. is ranked 28th in science education. Did you also know that 64% of high school graduates are not prepared for college level science courses? What if I were to tell you that you can help promote this by having more science education in schools, teach more kids about science, and have hands-on experience doing this? Through volunteering through American Chemical Society, ACS, you can help promote all these things. Hi, my name is Katherine Weber, and I am the current president of American Chemical Society here at St. Edward University. I've been a member for the past three years. Today I'll be discussing the history of ACS, how ACS, what ACS provides for its community, um, how ACS compares to STEM, a nonprofit organization that provides science tutoring in school, and how you as St. Edward students can volunteer. And if you have any questions, please hold them please hold them towards the end of the presentation. So a little bit of history about ACS. It was established in 1875 by 35 scientists, and their main goal was to have the public have more access to pub, um, scientific publications. But then it expanded to educating others about chemistry. As you read about on your handout, their mission, station, mission statement is, we are a dynamic and visionary committed to the transforming power of chemistry. And right below is their vision statement. So what does ACS provide to its community? Some of their main um, goals are to provide published scientific journals, hold major research conferences, educate others about chemistry, and provide scholarships and grants. And their three main projects are Project C, which offers high school students a chance to conduct scientific research, ACS Scholar Program, which provides a chance for high school graduates to attend college if they are studying in the science field, and advancing chemistry teaching, which helps uh, chemistry teachers with new innovative ways to teach chemistry. So how does exactly ACS differ from STEM? STEM is a nonprofit organization that provides science tutoring in different high schools. Um, however, it is a long-term commitment, so you have to go at least once a week, and if not during the summer, for uh, summer school. But with ACS, you can just simply sign up for one afternoon for a few hours and just um, volunteer. And also, ACS provides other opportunities, such as uh, high school students conducting research, providing them with scholarships, both high school students and college students and also prepare science teachers to actually teach chemistry. So how can you as St. Edward students volunteer? You can simply join ACS here on campus. And we do a lot of volunteer work, such as we recently uh, helped judge a science fair at St. Ignatius. And we also volunteer at the major events, such as National Chemistry Week, Mole Day, and Earth Day. Or if you don't feel like joining ACS, you can simply go on their website and they usually list their uh, volunteer opportunities for their local sections. And some of their major events are, as I said, Earth Day, National Chemistry Week, and Mole Day. What I specifically did was I volunteered for Earth Day and we went out to Zilker Park and we set up demos for uh, children and their theme this year was chemistry and water. So it was really fun, all the kids got to go around and perform different science experiments and it was just so much fun seeing their bright faces, like just having so much fun learning chemistry. And at the end, if they completed all of them, they got a really cool prize. It was just a lot of fun. <clears throat> and so in conclusion, I've talked about the history of ACS, which started in 1875 by 35 chemists. And their main goal was to publish scientific papers, but has then expanded to helping others learn about chemistry. I say what they provide for the community, which they provide scholarships, grants, research opportunities, etc. And I talked about how ACS differs from STEM. ACS is not a long-term commitment like STEM, and you can simply go one afternoon and volunteer. And we also provide more than just tutoring such as I mentioned before, the grants and scholarships, as well as providing others with scientific publications. And I also explained how you as 
students can help volunteer, which you can just simply join the club or either go on the website, which is listed on the handout. And by volunteering through ACS, you can help a child experience the wonders of science, like when I volunteered <coughs> during Earth Day. You can inspire each children to hopefully know that, yes, they can be scientists one day. So volunteer today with ACS and just um, show the power and wonder of chemistry to all. Thank you, and I will take any questions.